I tried, but I just had to tell you there's no guarantees. As you may or may not know, land borders between Canada and US have been closed since March 2020. But you're still able to fly across and commercial shipping is still allowed. What you just heard was a conversation between a broker suggesting the possibility of combining these two options and potentially getting your upper van shipped across in 2021. Before we get into what's going to be the craziest 48 hours of our life, we want to get into why exactly we decided to do this in the first place. Back in September of 2020, we decided to leave our nice condo apartment in Toronto and move into our camper van and travel east to west coast of Canada. Little did we know that November and December are the rainiest months on the west coast. After accumulating a lot of rust, mold, and just overall frustration from the lack of sun, we knew we had to explore alternative options to get to a less rainier place. I know it is a bizarre idea. You heard it from the agent, there's no guarantee but we knew we just had to give it a shot so continue watching to find out what happens the only airlines flying right now from canada into the states that allows pets is westjet and westjet for some reason only has one flight that's direct from vancouver to la for this sunday tickets are done yeah tickets are done for sunday we will be in la by sunday with 48 hours to go, we were working with a really strict checklist, mainly divided into four parts. First, getting us across the border. Second, getting the camper van across the border. Third, get Everest across the border. Fourth, reuniting with the camper van in the United States. We've been in Vancouver Island for the past one and a half months. It's time to head back to the mainland, which is Vancouver. Only way out between Vancouver Island and Vancouver is a ferry. The ferry is one and a half hours long. We pretty much just drive on. It'll take you to the mainland. He said he'll get back to me with a coat and to LA. to LA. And but right now he's not replied. I think the shipping company has given up on us. We have to cancel the tickets. Right? Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Right now we're going to Vancouver, and I'm gonna go and have some beers and get hammered, because that's the responsible thing to do on a Friday evening for a 29 year old. VIP ferry section. We need to have a dog like Everest. Then only you can be here. That's it. An hour and a half later, we're here. Right. Here would be California. We're nowhere right now. Right now, it's one degree Celsius in the van. This is what winter van life looks like. Here is a <laughs> There's been no sunshine in Vancouver Island, so the lithium battery is zero. No phone charging allowed yesterday. No heating allowed yesterday. No nothing allowed yesterday. Ice cold his noses. You'll be okay in the flight, right? Shake hands that you'll come out alive. Okay, you've shaken hands. You better come out alive on the other side. Today is still possibly the last day before we leave for California tomorrow. And then we have to get a crate for Everest. He's never been in a kennel. We need to visit our broker. His name is Daryl. He's going to be helping us out with the paperwork that needs to be submitted when the uh, driver that takes the van across. Only five documents you need for this process. Your car registration papers, a copy of your driver's license, form 3299, a letter of authorization, and residency proof to basically say that you still have a home back in Canada. We fly in less than 24 hours. We have Bunch of shit to do for last minute execution. I need a checklist. The items that, that are on the checklist, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items done. But right now, where we are going? Obviously, we were not going to leave Canada without having a proper meal of Chole Bhature because I had no idea when we were going to eat it next. We had a long day ahead of us. We had to get a crate for Everest and it had to be a specific size as per the guidelines of the airline. The most important thing that's really bugging me is. We have to empty out our van, which means and US doesn't allow any food. So I have to empty out all my spices. Empty out all my spices, all food, all Indian groceries that I have. I'm locally really sad about that, but the most important thing I'm sad about is my mom made this lemon achar, lemon pickle. I'm really sad about letting that go. Uh, things you do for freaking living this man life and just like that the big day was here we had to wake up really early because Karthik had to drive all the way to the shipping company's office to drop off the camper van so we said one last bye to our camper van mommy's so scared about your first flight 
You're gonna be okay, and right? I stayed back in the hotel You're in Kuwait and Everest for his out. first flight, Sweet. and it looked like he was pretty set. You're fine, right? You're fine. From there, I took a cab to the airport, and Karthik met me at the airport. This is so easy. There's like nobody at the airport. <laughs> We arrived there almost three and a half hour earlier because if you're flying with a dog, you need to check up all of your documents, uh, your crate, and just to make sure everything is good to go. And just like that, we were all set to take our first flight in 2021. This is at the bottom, below us. All the best. That was almost like a private jet experience because it was just me and Karthik and nobody else. I'm so worried about Everest. Uh, it was such a turbulent flight, I hope he made it. It's so shaky, man. Everest, you made it through your first flight, buddy. How was that? How was that, buddy? How was that? <laughs> Everest. Let's go, Everest. Let's go. You made it, Everest. It's crowded. Once we got off the airport, we picked up a car rental and started looking for a pet friendly hotel, and that took four hours. But we eventually found one and slept like a log for a long journey ahead. In the last 48 hours, we actually made a quick decision to fly into California. Our van actually is not making it to California. It's going to be shipped to Seattle. We have to drive all the way back up to Seattle in the next three days, which is covering around 2,000 kilometers. And for that, we have decided to utilize a minivan. Minivans are amazing for car camping. You can fold down the back seats and boom, you have a bed for the night. Our friends also gave us a nice comfy, massive sleeping bag that we utilized for our journey and Everest absolutely loved it. Our broker had given us a three day window to ship the camper van. So here we are attempting to make this journey without even knowing if our camper van is going to make it across into the country or not. I had to quickly pull over to the side of the road because Sim had received a very important phone call from our agent. And of course, at this very moment, our mic decided to stop working. Just look at her reaction. She is ecstatic. What do you think is happening? Yes, that was the phone call from the agent telling us that instead of shipping the camper van three days after, they attempted to ship it this morning and it went through. Our camper van was waiting for us in Seattle. Cue in the Bollywood music because this drive just got so much better. We will be reunited with our camper van very soon. Good morning! So one thing to know about Big Sur is that there's barely any signal along the way. The network is very poor. It so uh, there's pockets on the network, but it's mostly very poor. So watch out for that if you're going there. And because of COVID, none of the hotels and cafes are open. So there's no washrooms. So washroom situation is also very scary. There's no way you can spend many nights there. At this point, obviously, you have your own with a washroom in there. So for us, when we bring the van back, I think the most we can do is one night, right? Without a washroom. But overall, fucking stunning place. Definitely need to come back and spend more time. We didn't stop at all the places we wanted to stop at. Because we have a 10 hour drive today. 10 hours, right? We just stopped at the store called Puran Poli. It's a Maharashtrian Indian restaurant. And this is what we got. Some dal, some trolley. Some aloo sabzi, raita, rice, vada pav, chapati, and some samosas for the road. That's how we do it. This is 
is our thali set up in the dashboard, all the Indian food. The food is amazing. Holy shit. Mind blowing. Exactly like home food. Dal, chawal, chole, vada pav, chutney. Everything tastes like home. No restaurant bullshit. It is I think so we can good. survive only one week without Indian food. Yeah, we were dying for some Indian food and on the way here, I was like, I all I want is some dal chawal and I'm eating some dal chawal. That's all I wanted and it's so fucking good. Good job, Puran Poli. in Toronto I used to go to the same dog park every morning and evening yeah, and people, know everyone. people just know everybody and uh, you almost never know the dog owner's name you always know the dog's name and that just becomes a part of life and you just greet each other saying your dog's name To put it in perspective, we've done 2,000 kilometers in about three days. Where else we did 5,000 kilometers across Canada in four months. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Finally made it to Portland. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Three more hours to go to Seattle. This is also yawning and stretching. Stretch his body, stretch his body too. <laughs> back in the camper van we were in a new country in the middle of a pandemic it felt very unsafe and risky but having the space back with us our little safe haven our little cocoon of a space we feel so much better and so much safer being in this van right now and now i'm so much more confident in traveling us of course keeping in mind all the restrictions we are just going to national parks and just the remote areas um, yeah so happy Everest is already home he's already sleeping these past three days have certainly not been easy it has tested us more than just trying to find a secure spot to sleep but I think it's gonna be worth it as soon as we hit the trail yeah it's crazy how we decided this last Friday and today is Friday and one a more week later so this process exactly took a week pretty yeah. much yeah from deciding to yeah. executing all right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Comment and subscribe if you want to see more of our crazy last minute adventures. But hopefully there will be more planned in the future too. There'll never be planned. But yeah, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe kar lena, theek hai? Like and subscribe. Subscribe.